all a, a pretty free and easy sort of a existence in those days. We didn't have any sort of uh, coaches, set coach. I don't remember having a coach for for uh, until getting on to all. I think we might have had the coach in 1911 when we were making headway towards the premiership and uh, I think they got Ivo Crap the umpire at that time to coach us for a while but that was only a temporary measure there was no permanent coach Right, uh, Bill, in the WAFL history book the 1911 team that you were in is in that uh, what great players do you remember that was in that team photo? What was that? What uh, great players do you remember in that team photo of 1911? Well, there were the captain was a chap named Jerry Baum, mm -hmm. and uh, Jimmy Everett was the vice captain, and uh, and uh, Harold Rowe was uh, also uh, one of the prominent players, and. Uh, Bill, there was an, um, an um, uh, amusing story there that uh, you might be able to tell us about, uh, going to one of the games. Yes, well, there was this one going to the semi-final in 1911. To, we went down to Fremantle to play that, and uh, they thought they were giving us a special treat by taking us down in a picnic drag. There's four or five horses and drove from Perth to Fremantle. And in those days... It's a very rocky road. Some of the original uh, stumps were still in the road. It was an old wooden track before that made out of sawn trunks of trees. And uh, it was getting into a bad state and they decided to pull it up. And they were in process of pulling this road to pieces when we took the trip down on this, this big drag and it was a pretty rough drive I can tell you and the uh, but th that was only just incidental something quite out of the ordinary people had more or less given up driving in that sort of way Those cars were just beginning to be used and uh, you didn't win that game? 1911 Right, and how did that uh, season finish up? Actually, 1911. Well, we played off in the in the semi-final at Fremantle and got beaten, and uh, that was that. Uh, 